Hey guys, I'm a pothead. Nah, just kidding. I'm gonna do a how to pick your fish video on bottom feeders. Dun dun dun. So I'm gonna do this by tank size and by temperament. So first things we're gonna talk about: what bottom feeders can fit in a nano tank? Two to five gallons. Really, your only options are coolie loaches. The coolie loaches stay like this. This small. They're small. They're like this thick. They look like little eels. But they're loaches. Oh, voice crack. They're loaches, and they do a really good job of cleaning stuff up. I have one in my nano tank. Does a good job. Five to ten gallons. This is where you get options. Start to get options. Any quarry cats can fit in there. Most quarry cats stay around the same size. None get bigger than about this. And they clean up the bottom food and stuff like that. But if you're having breeding fish, they um, they do like munching on the eggs. So be careful about that. For 10 gallons, you can also use bo smaller botillas and catfish when they're young. But catfish can eat other fish. So it's good to be careful about that. Next would be 20 gallons, 20 to 30 gallons. There you can have almost, you can have loaches, you can have all the, most of the botillas. You can have the giant coolies, you can have all of the, um, you can have all the quarries, you can have the smaller catfish, and yeah, those are always fun. And then for 55 gallons, you can get some of the more, uh, some of the larger loaches, some of the larger uh, catfish. You can fit some young clown loaches into a 55. And then when you're going for 75 gallons to like 100 gallons, then you can fit full-size clown loaches and uh, full-size clown loaches a lot of the catfishes uh, the quarry cats won't even fit in there they'll get eaten by everything by then and then for 120 gallons and above you can fit the big stuff like full-size clown loaches iridescent sharks the eclipse catfish also known as the moonlight the half moon catfish I think um, uh, like the bullheads, when they're small, you c can put, uh, let's see, you can put shovel nose cats in there, but not the tiger shovel nose, just the regular shovel noses. And by the time they're that size, they're all pretty aggressive, they eat whatever fits in their mouths, so, by that size, I really don't like keeping catfish in the tanks, just because they end up getting bored and they end up going around eating things like rocks and then they die and it's not good and then if you have a pool like an outdoor pond like at least 4,500 gallons at least uh, at least 4,000 gallons I'd say a nice big swimming pool type thing that's running fresh water that has monster fish then your options Tiger shovel noses, um, lima shovel noses, red tailed cat hybrids with shy, sh tiger shovel noses, red tailed cats, yeah, you can put the big guys in there. And those are the kind of fish that you can swim with and pet with and pet and stuff like that. So that's always fun. So I hope you guys thought this video was informative and I'll see you guys later. Comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, I've been having trouble figuring out what the next one's going to be. So if you guys have any how to pick your fish that you really need to know about, then comment. Right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.